In an early 3rd century document known as the Apostolic Tradition, baptism is described in this way. After staying up all night in prayer, scripture reading, and instruction, the believer is led out to a pool of flowing water at the crack of dawn. They are anointed with oil from head to toe and renounce Satan as they are led into the water. They are asked a question, Do you believe in God the Father? They reply, I believe, and are immersed in the water and raised up. They are asked a second question, Do you believe in Christ Jesus, the Son of God, who was born of the Holy Spirit and Mary the Virgin, and was crucified under Pontius Pilate, and was dead and buried, and rose on the third day, alive from the dead, and ascended in the heavens, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and will come to judge the living and the dead? Again, they confess, I believe, and again, they are immersed in the water. Then a third question, do you believe in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Church and the resurrection of the flesh? A third time they cry, I believe, and a third time they are immersed. The creed comes from baptism. It is a pledge of allegiance to the God of the gospel, a God who is revealed in Father, Son, and Spirit a God who is present to us in the real world of human flesh, creating, redeeming, and sanctifying us for good work. It was a grassroots confession of faith. It was an original form of the ancient church's response to the risen Christ, who commanded his apostles to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The creed provides a framework, strong yet surprisingly flexible, for Christian thinking and Christian commitment.